Quitting social media is actually quite easy. And in this video, I will show you three steps to help you quit social media for good. And I hope you enjoy. The first step is that you should uninstall every social media app that you don't need. Okay, so I specifically mean apps that you only use sometimes, apps that you only use when you're kind of bored. So for me, for example, that was Snapchat. I never really used Snapchat all that much. I wasn't ever really going for the flames, um, for the streaks with my friends or anything. And so I simply didn't feel like I needed Snapchat anymore. And so I uninstalled it. Same thing with Be Real. I used it for like one week and then I just uninstalled it. I don't really see the point. Simply keep the apps that you need. Now I specifically said the apps you don't need because you might be thinking to yourself right now, well, what if I just uninstall every social media app that I have? I won't use them then. But that's wrong. You'll uninstall them, and then in two weeks' time, you'll just install the apps again and completely relapse and completely forget about what you actually wanted to achieve in the first place. And you won't ever quit social media thinking like that. You won't ever quit your social media addiction if you're thinking like that. It's the same way with every addiction. For example, if someone is addicted to smoking cigarettes and you simply take away his cigarettes, throw them all away, burn them, whatever, he will find a way to get his nicotine in some way or other. He will relapse because the person didn't really fight the cause, but only fought the symptoms. So don't uninstall every social media app, only uninstall the ones that you already don't really use. The second step is that you should realize when you use social media. And for most people, that is when you're bored. You're simply bored and don't know what to do. And so you simply take your phone and start going through the apps that you have. And you stumble across, for example, Instagram, TikTok, whatever. And you just start scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And then your time flies by. And you don't even know why you started in the first place. The reason you started was because you were bored. And so you don't want to fight the symptoms, as I've said before. You want to fight the root cause. And the root cause is boredom. Now, boredom is caused because you don't have anything to do. You need to keep yourself busy. You need to keep your mind busy with something important. You need to work towards something so you don't have the need to use social media apps. You need to come home from school or work with something more important to do than school or work. You need to have something, some kind of passion that keeps you busy and focused on your goals. You don't want to scroll on TikTok end endlessly just because you have nothing else to do. And uninstalling TikTok won't help you in that sense because you're still bored and you'll still need something. Your brain is still craving some kind of stimulation, something to do. And so if you simply uninstall TikTok, one or two weeks later, you're going to be craving that dopamine and you're simply going to reinstall TikTok again. Find a hobby, find something to do and keep yourself busy. Now, the third step is to become more mindful of your social media usage. I personally use the app one sec I'll put a link in the description right below the like button. Basically what the app does is anytime you try to open a social media app, in my case, Instagram, you're met with a screen that prompts you to take a deep breath. And so you're locked out of Instagram for six seconds and you're forced to take a deep breath and think about if you actually want to open Instagram. And this is great because most people use social media when they're bored. And so taking a deep breath basically forces you to think about if you truly want to open the app. And if you do, you can, you just have to wait six seconds. But in most cases, you won't really want to open the app in the first place. And so you close it again and you avoid giving yourself the chance to scroll endlessly on social media. I hope the three steps have helped you in some way or other. I hope you got some value from this video. 
If you didn't, make sure to leave a comment and I'll see you in the next one.